right, guys, uh, Nibwa. Uh, once I'm here, of course, the first thing John will do, he'll figure four. And uh, next step he'll do, he'll try to come up, grab my arm, start peeling it off, put his knee down, eventually get down, cross face, and escape my knee plan. Let's go back. So you gotta realize one of the fundamentals, submission before submission, uh, position, pardon me, before submission. So once I'm here, jump figure force, and starts coming up, I have to forget about knee bar for a second and just maintain position. So what I have to do, because knee bar, I'll be over here, once he comes up, I will have to force my hand down. I will have a little bit mechanical advantage, I'm a little higher. So we'll be fighting for position, which you should be winning because you have that mechanical advantage. And remember, nobody can fight forever, so eventually he'll uh, release his resistance a little bit. He, he'll slow it down, okay? So let's fight a little bit. That's how we fight. And you see how it, come, it comes and goes in a rocky motion. So I have to stop my attack when my motion goes this way. I don't want to start attacking when John's foot is down like this. I have to rock him up. And that's what I want to do. I'm going to grab his heel this way and slide it like so, just like a, a drawer in a table. And go on with the knee bar. If I continue pulling this way, because uh, due to figure four, there is no way I'm going to open it up. So we fight for position. I rock him backwards, heel up, and back to knee bar. Remember, don't go like this because you'll fight, uh, you, you, you will start the same fight all over again. He'll come up, grab your arms, and all that stuff, right? Snatch it up immediately, like so. Uh, best position he's put on this side of the face because every time he disaligns, he escapes the knee bar. Over here, it's locked, nice lock. Uh, knee lined up, legs are closed. And that's how you continue knee bar when he tries to defend with figure four.